Hey guys, what's going on? So today I have an album review for a non-metal album, actually. This is Agents of Oblivion's self-titled album. So, uh, yeah. Um, in the background, we were playing Asphyx's The Rack. So, yeah, really great OSDM album. So, anyways. Um, let me turn that down just a little. This was the second project that Dax Briggs from Asphyx did after Asphyx broke up. This came out in 2000. Um, the first thing he did after um, Asphyx was called, um, oh my god, I think it was like Daisy something in the Moon Crickets or something like that. Fuck. Um, I forget what it's called, but that was a really good project. I uh, never released anything. <clears throat> he never released anything from that, but um, it was some cool, like, folky acoustic stuff. And this album has some of that, but there's also, like, some alternative rock songs, which I don't really care for, but I really like the folky, um, pretty emotive sounding songs. Like, if you like, like, Scream of the Butterfly, or A Dead Girl, um, or Bones of Baby Dolls from Acid Bath, if you like those songs, then you'll love this album, because this song has more of those emotive, dark, but really melodic, without sounding whiny emotive, kind of... This is a little bit more melodramatic than the Acid Baths, um, like, acoustic songs, but still, this is really fucking good. It's not, it's never, it, like, the emotion never gets cringy on here. Uh, admittedly, this is a pretty fucking terrible album cover, though. Like, yeah, it, it's just really unappealing looking, but trust me, the music on here is a lot better than this album cover. <laughs> oh, there's the spine. And there's the bag. This was put out through Rotten Records, so yeah, you already know you can't find this on YouTube. But they do have the demos, which in my opinion, some of the songs I hear the demo version. Oh, there's one song I hear where the demo version is better, in my opinion. Um, I like that disc artwork. I don't know why they didn't make that the album cover. That, like, kind of cheesy, but it looks better than that weird fucking, like, hand. <laughs> um, right here, there's that artwork. It's kind of, there's like this weird quote on the side. It says, making an album is like living or dying. Breathing ain't nothing but something I forget to do from time to time. My favorite thing to do is black out. These are the last songs of the universe. Play at maximum volume. Praise jaw. Bleep it white butterfly. It's a weird quote. But interesting. Dex Riggs is a really fucking interesting guy. Well, uh, you just have all of his lyrics in here. Lyrically, this is a pretty cool project. It gets a little cheesy sometimes. Uh, the first song opens up with the line, it's only the end of the world again. Which is kind of fucking cheesy, but the way he sings it is so good. And honestly, this is Dax Riggs' best clean vocal performance. It's this album. It's one of the songs I hear, specifically um, The Hangman's Daughter and Ends Mouth. Um, I'd say those are his best vocal performances on here. Especially The Hangman's Daughter. If you're going to hear one song from this album, that's the one song you need to hear. That's a good fucking song. But anyways, um, Ends of Mouth, the first song, great song. This is a really chill album. It's very introspective sounding. Um, I don't know, it's just very relaxing, but also very emotive and kind of melodramatic sometimes. I don't like the second song, Slave, Slave Riot, at all, to be honest. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of boring to me, just generic, like, alternative rock. It sounds very 90s. But there's not really an edge to it or anything. It's just kind of there. I don't know. It doesn't do much for me. Um, a song that Cross is decent. Not my favorite song on the album. Not the most emotive, but it's a more relaxing one. Just really uh, somber sounding. Very just relaxed, you know. There's not my, much tension or emotion in that song. It's just a very calming song to listen to. Uh, Dead Girl, the fourth song, is obviously a redo of an acid bath song i guess you could say it's a cover um acid bath's version is way better i don't know why the fuck they did a electric version of dead girl on the song it would have been cool if they re-recorded it like because the original version of dead girl was acoustic and it just does not work um because it's a really like almost country sounding kind of acid bath song um and on here they do it electric and it just sounds kind of cheesy and it, it takes away a lot of the emotion from the song in my opinion it feels less intimate so I don't like that track. I don't think the song is perfect, but this there has some perfect songs on here. Um, but yeah, uh, the next track is great though, Phantom Green. Um, that's a really great track if you want to know what this album is all about. 
wrote the best songs on this album are all about, at least in my opinion. That song is great. Uh, really, really emotional. Um, great vocal performance from Dax. His vocals are really, he has a wide range on this album with his clean vocal. Well, this album's all clean vocals. He doesn't scream at all like he does in Acid Bath on this album, but he goes from being like, you know, having the more deeper voice to, you know, the more mids like he did in Acid Bath to doing like these like high, almost falsetto-y vocals. It, sound, it sounds really awesome. Um, that's a terrible way to describe it. It sounds really like, hmm, like kind of angelic sounding and very emotive. Um, and the melodies on here are just very pretty sounding. Um, but yeah, Phantom Green is a great song. It's kind of even a little depressive sounding with the riff. Um, kind of trippy production. There's a lot of reverb and stuff like that. Really echoey on that track. Uh, the Hangman's Daughter. That is like the best song on this album. There is so much emotion conveyed in Dax Briggs' vocal performance. And I think that that's one of his best vocal performances he's ever done. Um, there's just... Oh god, the end part with the... Um, it's like this chorus at the end. And it's just so fucking melodic. And like relaxing sounding. And it's really pretty sounding. But it's also fucking... Like the melody just pulls at your heartstrings. It's just such a good song. But yeah, that's just a masterpiece of a song though. The Hangman's Daughter. Fantastic track. And then it, it, pretty much after that, there's another song I really don't care for, which is Ladybug. That's probably my least favorite song on the album, actually. It just did not do very much for me. Um, I don't know. Uh, Ash of the Mine, I don't really care much for either. Um, I would have to say Ladybug is kind of a weird, like, it's another folky song that's kind of bluesy. And it just sounds kind of cheesy. There's not as much emotion put into that song as with the rest of the album. Not necessarily a bad song, just not my not my uh, cup of tea. Um, Wither is a great track though, another emotive one. Uh, kind of atmospheric sounding, very grandiose, and even even kind of like um, what's the word? It's kind of like cinematic sounding almost. Uh, Wither is another great. It's just a great track. Uh, Paroled in Fifty Four. Uh, it's not really that memorable to me. Anthem for this haunted city is not my favorite track. But it's it's listenable. Uh, Cosmic Dancers, in my opinion, the last great track on here. Um, that song's amazing. Uh, it's actually a cover from um, T Rex, which is weird. Well, it's not really that weird, but um, it's a really like calm sounding song, very introspective sounding. And Dax Briggs' vocal performance again, really emotive, shows off his range. Um, I love what he does a lot in the song is when he sings a line at his normal like he sings it in his more deeper voice and then he sings that same he sings it again but at a higher octave with the more falsetto -y vocals and it sounds really emotive and like it's just fucking amazing um yeah cosmic dancer is just a really great track and if you listen to this album all in one sitting by the time you reach that track it feels you can't really explain i can't really explain how it feels but it, it feels very like because that track is really calm but it feels very like meditative almost so that after some of the more louder songs towards the beginning of the album, I guess, or rockier songs. It just works. I don't know. And the last song, Big Black Backwards, again, not a memorable track. So there are some fillery, I don't, I don't want to say fillery, but just tracks that don't do much for me on here. But they're still good songs. If you like any kind of fucking music, as long as you're not like... If you're open-minded about music, you'll like this album. There's a little something for everybody on here. It's not really heavy, so if you want something like you know, super brutal or heavy or doomy. You're not going to get that with this. But if you want something really emotive and relaxing and very powerful sounding, um, just now that pulls at your heartstrings and is very, like, nice to listen to, uh, I highly recommend this. Um, it's a great album and one of the best projects that Dax Riggs has done after Acid Bath. And, I mean, he's my favorite vocalist of all time. So, um... Yeah, this is a great album, and I highly recommend this. It's pretty easy to get on CD, but like I said, it's hard to listen. You can't find it on YouTube besides some demos. Um, but yeah, uh, I also need to review, I'll review both of my Acid Bath, both of the Acid Bath albums, but I need to review their demo compilation. I have that on CD as well. Probably do that sometime soon. But yeah, that's it for this video, though. I'd probably give this album, uh, it's difficult because I don't want to give it like a 7 out of 10 or something because I do love the songs I really like on here. Um, 
maybe I'll give us like an 8 out of 10. The rest of the songs are still pretty good, just don't do very much for me. Um, but yeah, Agents of Oblivion, self-titled. I highly recommend this if you want something more chill to listen to. But yeah, that's it for this video, though. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.